In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change colors of anything in Lightroom 2024. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Silvia and in this channel I talk about photography, especially high-end retouching techniques. But now let's go to the video. I have made a video like this before in how you can change the colors of any object but using Photoshop. Now I want to show how you can do the same thing using Lightroom instead. I have the photo here and what we are going to be doing is to change the colors of the outfit. For that, we are going to use the mask. So I'm going to click here on the mask. In Lightroom, I already recognize the subject. When you click in this person one, Lightroom will already make a few selections of masks that you can be using like facial skin, body skin, but the one that we are going to select is clothes. And right now we can see that the masking is not perfect, but it is pretty good. So we are just going to make the selection a little bit better. I'm going to use clothes here and I'm going to go down create mask. And now I'm going to be adding a few parts of the selection that it's missing. So I'm just going to click here in add and I'm going to choose the brush. I'm going to get a little bit closer. And you want to take your time to make the selection. So I'm just going to do a little bit faster because I just want to show you how you can do it. But when you do it, take your time doing this part. You can see that I'm selecting a little bit more than what I'm supposed to select. So I'm going to go back later and remove the parts that are not supposed to be in this mask. And one thing that I want to do, I want my flow to be 100%. So my feather 100%, flow 100%, density 100%. Okay, perfect. So now what I want to do is to remove the parts that are not supposed to be in the selection. So I am just going to click here, subtract, and I'm going to choose brush as well. And now I'm just going to start removing what is not supposed to be in the selection. Now that you have the selection done, you're just going to scroll down and go to color. So you have temperature, tint, hue, and saturation. And here is where you're going to choose the color that you want for your photo. So to start, I'm just going to go all the way up with the saturation so I can see better how the color is working and where the selection is being applied. And now I'm going to move the hue option here and just 
change to the color that you want. If I go here, I can see that there is a little bit of, of a flaw in the selection. So I can go to my brush one and add the selection right here. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of the selection that it was not perfect. So again, you wanna take your time when you're doing this. You can see that light room sometimes in this part, let me get even closer. It's not being selected all the way and it's not coloring my outfit. And this is because I used that selection that was already pre-created pre by Lightroom of the clothes. So what I'm going to do is to add a new selection and I'm gonna choose brush. And right here, I'm just gonna be painting this part that Lightroom didn't let me work on the clothes before. So the selection is green, just because I have my mask to be green. If you click here, you can change to any colors. Let me show you better. You can change to any colors. I'm gonna have it green because I think that it's easier for me to see it. Let's go back to color overlay. Perfect. We can see that on the bottom the selection is not really good either so i'm just gonna add more selection here to this part so now i'm just gonna choose any colors that i want let's say that i want a cyan like a blue like this i think they looks very good However, one thing that I think about the color is that it is very saturated when you're comparing to the rest of the colors in the photo. This blue would never be like that in real life, so you can tell that it's very, very strong. Um, I'm gonna go down with the saturation. So you can go down with the saturation a little bit. And another thing that I'm gonna do is, I think this color is good. I'm gonna go down with the exposure a little bit as well to make the colors to look that it's more in the photo that actually was retouch it later. So I wanna go a little bit lower with the highlight, a little bit lower with the shadows as well. And everything that you adjust here with the light will adjust in the selection that you just made. I think the saturation, I'm gonna remove a little bit more of the saturation. go back a little bit with the saturation. With the second mask, I adjust the mask to match the lighting and the colors of the first mask that I did. And this is how you can change colors of anything using Lightroom. And here's the before, here's the after. Now you know how you can change colors of your client's outfit or anything using Lightroom as well. As I said in the other video in Photoshop, knowing how to change colors can be really helpful for you to create a color identity to your work. And this is really going to help you to stand out from your competition, to make your clients want to book with you because of your photo style and identity rather than how much you charge in your photos. If you wanna know other ways to improve your skills to make more money with photos, check out my latest video somewhere here in the screen and also subscribe to my channel. Every week I'm posting new content here. This is all for the video, until next time.